Well, the Egyptian cleanup operation is now in full swing. Soldiers have cordoned off areas of Tahrir Square and removed some tents, allowing traffic to flow. The military is also overseeing the compensation of those who lost out during the unrest, channeling benefits to those who lost property or became unemployed in the crisis. But banks and the stock exchange remain closed, and many companies are struggling to get back to business. Well, our next guest thinks a more vibrant Egyptian economy may emerge from the turmoil. Let's talk to Nagib Sawiri, the chairman of Arascom Telecom, the biggest phone company in the whole of the Middle East. Well, he's on the phone for us from Cairo. Thank you so much for joining us. We were speaking just last week, Mr. Sawiri, about the implications of Mr. Mubarak being toppled. Are you confident that what will emerge is a more confident and stable Egypt? Because there are still many questions left unanswered. Well, I think uh, uh, the army's uh, position till now and all the communiques they've made uh, are confirming that there will be a return to uh, uh, a legislative uh, situation, that they will uh, change the constitution and they will allow free elections. So if all that happens, I think we will have a new Egypt which will be democratic, which no abuses will be uh, 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 um, tolerated, and where all the young people of Egypt will have equal chances to become uh, the new entrepreneurs, develop their future without any interference, you know, with less security and more democracy, you know. So, personally, I am optimistic, you know. Also, the Tahrir Square has been cleared today and uh, life is going back to normality slowly. So, these are all positive indications. Mr. Sawir, at the same time, the stock market hasn't opened yet. The banks haven't opened yet. Are you concerned about capital outflows? Because that may actually really jeopardize the Egyptian economy, which also has to be rebuilt as well as the political system. I am concerned because there also there is a lot of abuses of the current situation by strikes and labor requests, which were all trying to abuse the lack of authority and uh, and we have now, which is frankly speaking not very patriotic, you know, which has resolved in the banks being closed and the stock exchange will open on Wednesday. But I hope the banks will open also Wednesday because we can't have the stock exchange. So I am concerned about the outflow of capital. Yes, you are right, and but it will be temporary until people see a real democratic regime and see a return to normality. This is a great country with a, with a lot, with a lot of uh, potential, you know. Uh, Mr. Sawiris, has the army contacted you in any way? Are you going to take some kind of form either as a consultant or at least play a part in rebuilding Egypt? No, I consider uh, my mission accomplished, you know, and they have not contacted me, and I think there's no need for them to contact me. I'm a citizen of Egypt that uh, I would say I think I contributed uh, to as much as I could in these difficult times. And uh, now I want to go back to my work and to my business and to my family that I haven't really seen for a while. All right, Mr. Sawiris, thank you so much, Nagib Sawiris there, the chairman of Arascom Telecom.